Hello guys and welcome back to Thrones of Britannia, my playthrough series playing as West Seax. Uh, we left off last session uh, in the middle of, well not a battle, but we got attacked by uh, one of the factions from the north and we are now on this defending area. I, I think I more or less weighed out and said I'm going to call it there, come back and we'll have this defensive battle. So I'm defending. Uh, the only crossing, I've just had a little look around now, is actually this bridge. This is the only crossing uh, over this river. Which is fantastic. I did have a look down here and saw this, but actually this ford is outside of the area, which is fine by me. So it means that they, they can't get across me out over this bridge. So all I need to do is line the um, bridge with units and bombard them to death. And then that should mean... It, it's, it's easy to defend a narrow point, to be honest, uh, which is quite useful to have. Um, and yeah, this is going to be quite fun. It just means I need to get all my forces kind of leveled up here. So... I'm going to have two archers on this side. As the normal joke, we're going to have two archers on this side. I'm going to pelt them. Uh, I'm going to have my um, fried axeman in the middle. I'm then going to have my two two-hand axemen uh, on the flanks here. And then I'm going to put my main infantry behind them. Like so. Actually, let's just have a look here. You go there, you go over his side. And then I've also got my spearmen, which are going to go to the left and right of this infantry. I've got my main force here. So that's quite pretty much the same. The cavalry is uh, not really going to be needed. So I'm going to put them back into the woodlands anyway. Just in case if they do break through, my cavalry can come in and have a bit of a fun with them. But I'm going to put the cavalry on both flanks, as you can see here. So the idea would be to move my infantry up to, onto this defensive bridge, um, stop them from basically getting out of there, and hold them off as best they can do, because they're coming from this side. So it's going to be quite fun and interesting to see how this works out. So I'm just going to start the battle. I'm going to move these guys up quite quickly. So I don't mind them breaking through a little bit. So let's just put these on. Slam them right on the coast. Let's get the archers moving forward quickly. And we just wanted to keep my units back to defend if needed. And then let's get into a defensive position. Let's get the archers just to pummel one of theirs. Let's get their javelin men down. We want to be far enough about that they can't attack me. Which is good. I can deal with their archers. No, we don't need skirmish mode. It's fine. So, I want you just to hit their archers if you can do. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, wow. They instantly got wrecked. Let's just pull these back. Okay, so Alfred, come over and get some reinforcements. Here comes the cavalry. Which they're going up against the shield wall, basically. Oh, shit. Hold on a minute here. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this about? They jumped off the side. That's a bit unfair. What a lot of shit is this? Okay, so I need to get my spearmen just to go for these axemen. Um, cavalry. We can't be having that. Okay, cavalry, deal with them. These are strong cavalry as well. Alright, get into the back. That is a bit awkward because I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we'll get the spearman to come from behind. Okay, so we've done quite a lot of damage to them. Let's run them over this way. What are we doing here? Okay, so these guys should be quite pretty much destroyed. Let's get them moved up. Let's see if we can fire at them. Okay, let's move our axe in. There we go. So these are all pretty much dead. These guys can come up. 
Nice. Okay, cavalry is good. Right, let's get in with them. Let's get the X-Men from the side. I'm worried about these guys. So let's just move these guys into here. Right, go for the archers. Just keep your distance would be a good idea. There we go. So this one's holder. This one's buckled. Uh, these fried axemen. Right. Just try to see if we can get around the side of them. Right. Smash in. I just forgot, I, d I didn't think they'd be able to jump over the edge, but then it does make sense in a can of essence, but not in some, because it's just annoying to defend. Okay, so let's move these guys back a little bit. Because these archers are kind of pelting me a little bit. Nice. Because they're backing off. So let's hit these guys next. And the problem is I can't run around with my cavalry and like hit them from behind. So this is just going to be a slugfest in the middle of ultimate demise. But if I can get rid of their archers, it means then I can pelt my guys. Um, I don't have to worry about them. I, lo I like to actually be slamming to the side here. Because there is a few guys there. So let's get the spearmen to come to here. On the side and hit them from the next side. Speed this up a little bit more because this is going to be one of those long battles that you're just going to have to deal with for ages. Alright, go. Because they're going to be really concerned that they're, they're just going to be trying to fight through and be holded off every single turn. Okay, how's my, oh, okay, these archers are now finished so we can move them back. Oh. Okay, so let's. You know what? Let's just fire in the middle. It seems like a good idea. Okay, I am getting hit by these guys, so let's just... Shield wall it up. I do have some more Axemen I can chuck in if need be. Okay, so these guys have used all their ammunition, so let's just move back. And then the other guy's about to run out of ammo as well. You know what? Oh, yeah, there we go. We're out, out of ammo. This is just a complete mess in here. You're not going to get through. I mean, we're not really taking much damage as well. The units at the front, which are um, these guys, have not taken hardly any casualties. Which is fantastic. And they're chucking people off just to try and come round and my axemen are doing, my spearmen are doing really well. Especially the ones on the left. I might bring my axemen around just to... here. Just p to potentially charge in if need do. Speed this up some more. Oh, okay, so these Axemen have run off. So let's bring these out just to recover. That's one thing we do want to be aware of, just make sure that we don't have a mass route. We are starting to take casualties very much in the middle. So let's bring the Axemen around, and then we'll pull the Spearmen out, and then we'll bring some fresh units in. And we'll do the same for this side. Alright, let's get these guys in. Just to switch units around here. These guys are going to be absolutely exhausted. I mean, mine haven't even really attacked, they've just hold the line. So they're the ones trying to push through and, and take this bridge um, section. And I'm like, nope, you're not coming through. There we go. Route your little buggers.
Let's get some more shield castles up. And then once they break, I can just use the cavalry just to chase them down. <laughs> so let's bring the uh, cavalry out. Okay, so we might have to replace the middle a little bit here uh, before long because they are starting to get a bit... Oh, it's not doing too bad. We haven't lost 100 yet. It's more the Axemen which have... Yeah, right. Let's speed this up some more. <laughs> I've got another 27 minutes to wait before this battle ends. It's just a complete slog. Okay, so we've got these guys on the side. So let us move these male sacks to come in. Let's get this corner. Because we don't want these guys being completely cut off. Okay, here we are. Right, get in there. Nice. Okay, so they're in. So these are the second strongest unit I've got. Actually, the strongest unit, the tier 3 unit. Which is going to cause some considerable damage to them. Oh, there we go. I think there's a mass route happening. Let's get the shield castle out and push. And then the cavalry needs to come in. Right, let's get this cavalry on this side ready and this one to come. And this is what's so what's when as soon as you get some route in, the rest are just gonna completely follow. Alright, let's go for them. Get in there. Push. God, there's just a mass of bodies that's gonna be here right now. Let's move these guys up. Just to put them there to go, hey, these are going to be the next guys that are going to come in <laughs> and push through in a minute. I didn't even bring my, my main general guy in yet, so. Come on. There's the mass route again. Yep, there we go. Now this is the time you want to bring the cavalry in. Get through their cavalry. Do as much damage. If you can chase them without letting them um, basically come back, you can do this quite well. Okay, so these spearmen have actually come back. But hopefully we can make them rout again before they um, start to relieve themselves. Go, charge across, guys. There we go. And there we go. <laughs> it's lit. Oh, crap. Run away. We want to get this guy down. That, general, that general's already ran. We can do. We want to take the general's. Look at this. Oh my days. This mess. Look at it. Oh, there's the carnage on the bridge. And there we go, we've won. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish off these guys. Uh, I'm going to kill them all uh, with my cavalry units. And um, we're going to try and see if we can take the general units and then we'll come back to the main map and continue from there. The absolute just decisive victory that was. They lost over, if you combine the two forces, nearly 2,100 units, including the two armies, I only lost 500. So I caused four times more casualties to them than they caused to me, uh, which is just phenomenal, to be honest. <laughs> it's what you want, and that's what I love about defensive when you're up against a, there's only one way across a bridge because you just basically put a small amount of units to hold off, and they've got to send all the units across that one particular point. So it makes it easy for you. Now, I could ransom. I could take the warriors and increase my replenishment, but what I'm going to do is kill them all. 
to set an example. So I've killed two armies off in one fell swoop. And there we go. So we've killed two guys in one fell swoop, which is fantastic. And now they are pretty much under my... Well, they're in my mercy. Uh, and I'm going to finish him off and make sure he's dead. Uh, we have got a character that's got low loyalty, uh, which we need to finish off. And there is a couple of forces which are... Oh yeah, this one that was happening. Uh, we were being besieged. Which I don't mind them attacking, but now I'm going to do what they did to me. And I'm just going to come around from behind and go, hey. I can see they're besieging a the unit, um, but now I'm going to kill you for it. And there you go. So I think there's a, um, if you let an enemy army come and attack you when you're besieging, you, I think if their forces outnumber yours, you're going to lose, which is fantastic. And let's just finish off this army here as well, uh, quickly. On here um, for this turn, just to get some more replenishment done before we move forward. Yeah, um, so we left off last session, we got dragged into a load of wars, which was an interesting one. So uh, we got Gwynev up here, who's declared war on us. Um, it's just, it went absolutely, and I think most of it was because of Mercia. Mercia had a lot of people that wanted a piece of it, and they all decided to attack. Uh, which is fine in some kind of aspects of it all but it's infuriating when you've got to then be the one defending them um so what we got here we've got a governor um so what can we do so we can have any morale in province we've got food production which we're doing really well on food production at the moment we'd have a scribe for governance um but i'm gonna get another bard because i feel like having some more zeal will be useful and uh, we've got some loyalty but i feel that'll be from governor and estates so who's low loyalty let's have a look here Skimming through. Uh, wow. What is... So, Alfwyn has got extremely low loyalty. Uh, I'm not sure why. Let's have a look here. Is it because he's got no estates? Yeah, so he's got no, and we've got three. Uh, so, we should give him an estate, really, just to keep him happy. So, if we're giving him a estate, uh, should give his loyalty up a lot more. I'm not sure why. Let's have a look at his details. Hmm... Yeah, so I'm not really too sure what's the deal with that one. Estate penalty, personal loyalty. Ah, so it's because he ain't got an estate. Um, that's why his loyalty is so low. So let's give him this estate. There we go. So that punks him up to five. And everyone else is on a decent amount of loyalty. Um, we've only got two estates herself, but everyone should be more happier simply with the fact that everyone's got an estate, which is good. And as we conquer more territories, we can actually get more estates. Um, so, with this army now, um, this one can recuperate the losses it was getting, which is fine. So it means that it relieves up an army for me. And I'm going to send this guy to take the settlement. Uh, this is marshland, so it's probably not a good place to set up shop. Uh, I'm actually saying that. Could you... Hmm... I'm going to send this army up this way. We're going to come uh, go north and come across and see if we can get Steenford. Um, and then I'm going to send this army to come round and take these settlements of like Northern Hampton. Uh, that would be kind of useful. And then this army can go and take this settlement on the coast. And that pretty much will wipe out that faction for the time being. Um, and how are we doing on what could we build? So. We want to get some more food income, and we want to get some more happiness, I feel. Um, and then we get a tavern just to in there, just to increase that a little bit. But that's, yeah, it's good. Mercy has been destroyed. We've had a general, um, Wigglaf, who's died of natural causes. Um, which is a bit of a shame. Declare war on spirit assassinated by the king has disappeared and then almost at once word came that he had died through no one was quite sure what of and hot on the heels there was news of mm, okay so that's gonna be quite interesting so in the north border in the scotland there's a lot of problems going off oh very interesting hmm Right, let's give one more turn, because someone's just come up where I need to actually disappear for a little while. Um, so I'll have to come back to do some recording again. So let's move this army over here. I'm going to take the settlement. 
So we're going to occupy. And then kill this guy. So this should eliminate this faction completely. And yeah, there we go. Right. And this one was going to keep going this way, wasn't it? So let's head this way. Uh, oh, there's a lot of... Hmm. Bogland. Which I prefer not to run through, to be honest, but... We're going to have to go that way. That's fine. Right. Where's my other army? It's in here, wasn't it? Just defending for the time being. Uh, we can actually upgrade these as well. So let's retrain. Same with these guys. Oh, no. These ones. Because we actually got a new unit, which is good. So let's go and take uh, Buckingham. Occupy that off, which is nice. Province needs a governor. Um, so it's Dorchester that needs one. Uh, hmm. we'll, we'll give you. There we go. So that gives us a governor. Um, how are we doing on estates then? So every, a couple of people unhappy because we've got too many estates again. Um, so we need to give these back off. So when someone dies, it looks like they come back to the crown. So let's give uh, that stay over. So that increases people's happiness. We can keep free because it's not doing too much detriment to people's loyalty too much. Which is nice. We've got a new... We can actually do this one. This would increase plus one upkeep faction wide. Punishment chance... Oh, yes. So we'll get that one. That means that entire tree is finished. Or section of tree. And we've got a new general. It's just going to improve his campaigning. And then we've completely taken this coast now, so we're, we're quite fine. I'll keep an army down this side, um, just in case the Vikings decide to re come back and be a bit of a pain. But the good thing is, I can actually, while these settlements are rebelling, I can actually just go and take these other ones instead. So there's this settlement and this one, which will be very useful to have. And look enough, I've got nothing to do with down here through these guys. So it's going to be very useful. So let's spend this dosh we've got, um, see if we can increase anything. So. Um, what can we do here? So, I mean, we can actually improve this. Um, so, what we got here, we got a church, an orchard, which gives us for farms. I mean, it probably would be a good idea to get some, um, yes, yeah, 10% plus farms, which would be probably a better idea. We could have this one. And we get a Grange. There we go. So, we get the, the hall, um, which would help out quite a lot. And then let's have a look down here. Quite a lot of happiness down here, which is good. Um, although we do have these coming in soon, which might decide to take a bit of a change on that one. And let's increase uh, this. And there we go. So that's that one for that turn complete. Natural causes. So we lost someone else, uh, so we'll have to replenish them. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to leave this here for this time around. Normally, I've I recover a lot longer, but I've got I've got to go out, so that's kind of come at last minute, which is always a bit infuriating. But it's just something you've got to do. Um, but as always, um, again, if you've got any hints or tips on John comments, please let me know. If anything I should be doing particular wise, then let me know again in the comment section what I should be doing. Uh, but I am going to say thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you enjoy what you're seeing, then please, by all means, leave a like, comment down below, share this video, and even subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for my next one, but until then, I'll see you later.